What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Today we are trying to engrave on some concrete slabs. These are a couple of pieces that broke off just so I can test out to see if these work. did get quite a few of these large hexagonal slabs just on Facebook. Uh, somebody was giving them away because they'd read on the garden and I thought I might be able to go engrave on there and make some garden ornaments. So I've got a completely plain one here, we're going to see if we can engrave onto that and see what the results are and then I just painted this one white just to see if um, you can just take the paint off and it looks okay. So I have no idea how these are going to turn out. I have tried engraving on some stone in the past and that worked out okay, it weren't too bad, it was just some pebbles off the beach and they looked alright so We'll see how these look. Maybe it'll look okay, maybe it won't, but this is why we test stuff. So let's head over to the laser and we'll give it all a test. Alright guys, so that's the engraving done, as you could probably tell, the plain concrete didn't do that great at all. The painted concrete wasn't too bad, it did remove the paint as expected and it turned out okay. I'll get a couple of close-up shots of these and talk you through what I think's happened. So the plain concrete, as you can see, it feels completely smooth, it doesn't feel like it's taken any of the concrete away, it just seems to have cleaned the dirt off the top of the concrete and made it uh, a nice clean surface again so that's an absolute bust there's no way I can do that the power settings I used were 20 and 30 percent power from 150 all the way up to 275 those are usually what I use for engraving most things Either the slower end of the scale gives a nice dark burn a lot of the time and it didn't seem to do anything at all, it just cleaned off the dirt off the top of the concrete and you can hardly tell. With the painted surface, it still did the same thing, it cleaned the paint off the top of the surface to reveal the concrete below, which works really well. Against white, it's not that great as you can see around the M and around this 150. The stones underneath turned white when it was engraved and that just blends in with the white coating over the top. Another thing I was thinking was I could mask over the top of this, I could then do the engraving and then infill the engraving with paint and that's not going to happen because it's just not deep enough at all and it'll just bleed through onto the surface because it's still just there. Uh, you can't catch your finger on any of the engraving, it doesn't feel any weaker like the concrete isn't going to crumble underneath. Like I say, it just seems to clean the top layer of the concrete. So I might do a few more tests with different colours on these and see how they turn out but as it stands, concrete's not that great to engrave on. Painted concrete, it's not too bad so I think I might do some things using these for those. Other than that, it's probably just going to end up as a garden path. So thanks for watching guys, hopefully you kind of enjoyed this even though it weren't 
such uh, a successful video. Uh, it was still a testing video just to give you a bit of information. Hopefully it saves you wasting any time in the future and you know that concrete isn't that great. If you have had success engraving on concrete let me know down below what settings you used and stuff and I'll do some testing with that. Uh, any other techniques that I could use to get a bit more contrast on there then again let me know. If you do enjoy these videos of me testing stuff then hit that subscribe button, uh, it helps out the channel quite a lot and it just makes me super happy every time I get a subscriber, every time I notice that I've got one or two extra, it, it does, it makes me super happy. So thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video.